Hey everyone, Eleni Amon here. Welcome back to my channel. This week I wanted to talk to you guys about creating things even when you don't want to or can't think of what to create. Okay, I just want to jump into this video right away here. I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about, like I said before, just kind of creating things when you don't want to and when you don't know what to create. And I'm also going to show you how I create this final image that I will show you in the video here. So to get started, I took this really cool astronaut photo from uh, Pexels, which is a stock photo site that I like to use. P-E-X-E-L-S is how you spell it. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take the quick selection tool and I'm just going to kind of outline the sky area because this is the area that I am going to want to delete later on. Uh, for what I'm thinking, I just want to have the astronaut. So just going to go around him here and you don't need all of the details, right? Like I don't want this stuff that's in the back, just him and his arm like coming out there. I don't want whatever is behind him and all that extra stuff. And this doesn't have to be like 100% exact. You can do it, you know, pretty liberally here. We're just getting all the information that we need. Just making sure that, you know, you don't cut anything off that you do want. So like I said, I'm just kind of guesstimating to here too on the edge. I'm just kind of taking out what I don't want. And even on this part, like obviously there's some stuff sticking out. That's fine. We will take care of this in a little bit here. So I hit delete and then obviously, as you can see, it got rid of the background. So what I like to do now is I like to have a colored background. And so there's different ways to do this. I just throw on a shape and throw it underneath that layer. And then you can see how this quick selection tool, when it was selected everything, it's kind of jagged, right? It wasn't a very smooth cut. And so what I like to do now is I just take the eraser tool and, you know, bump up the opacity all the way because I don't just want it, you know, 50% or less. I just, I want to get rid of those rough edges. If you want it softer or harder, that's great because the softer it is, the more you'll get this kind of feathered effect. And there are different ways you can feather an image, right? There's there's like 30 different ways you can do it. But this is just a method that I prefer. I just like getting um, to be like really exact in how I want it. Just go around here. And like I said, like there's more than one way to skin a cat, right? So wh whatever you're looking for, whoever you follow, and whether or not you took classes, everyone's going to teach you a little bit differently when they're showing you how to do um, design and use all of these different uh, software products, right? So for me, I just say whatever works best for you and your process, just go with that. As long as you have the same outcome, you're good to go. It's not like in math class when you're like, hey, I got the answer, but they're like, oh, you didn't show your work the way I taught you. Here, we do not care. Just get some more of this detail. So another thing that, again, I was talking to you guys about is kind of creating things when you don't know what to create or you don't want to. A lot of times I'll just kind of like sit around thinking, hey, I should be doing this and I just really don't want to or I'm just not motivated to do it, right? So the best way to do that and to make sure that you do practice is maybe giving yourself some prompts to do that actually excite you and something that's a little more fun to do instead of just thinking, oh, hey, this is another project or assignment or saying, hey, this isn't making me money because it really can. Cool, cool. Okay, so now that I got that done, I'm gonna come over here to the layer panel and you can hide the layer by clicking the little eyeball there or you can delete the layer, which is what I'm going to do because I just don't need it at all. And then I'm gonna come over to the crop tool and just kind of go right up to the edges of him because I'm gonna save this as a PNG file, which means the background is going to be transparent 
which is exactly what I want because I don't want any kind of background or anything like that. And I don't want to have just this huge like empty box either. So that's why I'm going to crop it. So make sure you don't have, I have a one to one ratio right now and that's going to be a square. So I'm, I don't want that, right? I just want to have like a free form. So I will do that here. And then kind of go back to talking about uh, creating your own prompts, right? So a lot of things that I like to do are just kind of think of some fun things to create. So for example, the last project that I did was, I was just like, what would be cool? How about like a pizza place? Okay, well, how do you make that unique? So I just kind of selected an area in the world and it happened to be Egypt. And I started thinking about Egypt and hmm, what do you think of when you think of Egypt? A lot of times people will think of, you know, Egyptians as in olden days, like pyramids, all that kind of stuff. And so I thought, hey, pyramids are triangles too, right? So it's in the same shape as a pizza. So I was kind of going through all of those different things and it was a lot of fun to think about and create. And I think I came up with just a fun little project like that. What I'm saying is I got more practice out of it and that's really what it's all about. So now that I got that all good to go, I'm gonna save that as a PNG. And then I'm gonna open Illustrator because this is where I'm going to design my Instagram post. You wanna make sure you're on pixels here and that it's 1080 by 1080 because that's the typical sizing for Instagram. And RGB is just for screens. If it's CMYK, that's usually for print materials. Cool. So here is my artboard. We are good to go with that. Trying to think outside the box, have different ideas, and build your portfolio. I think that is so important. And that's definitely what I want to help more young designers do. And even, you know, designers who haven't had a lot of formal education and training. And I'm just going to drag in this cool just space photo with a bunch of stars. And I'm going to create a shape. Obviously it was 1080 by 1080 like we did before. And I just like to place this shape over an image. This is just how I like to crop it. And so you have to make sure that the shape is above the image for it to work. And then once you have that good to go. I will select both of these. So the image and the shape itself. Then make a clipping mask. And as you can see, it kind of just clipped around it, right? And now I want to place my little astronaut PNG. Well, how about that? Actually, this looks pretty cool. <laughs> so now what I want to do is take my text tool and I don't want that typeface um, and I definitely want to have white text. Obviously black text isn't going to show up. Uh, let's see. I don't know. Let's just use this one. So I'll just write design. Mm, yeah, I definitely like all caps the best. Center that. I don't like how the N is a lot bigger than the rest of them, so I'll probably fix that in a little bit here. So something you can do, uh, just a little shortcut for you guys, is to get that text to go behind the image. So you will hit, if you're on a Mac anyways, you will hit Command and then the left bracket until it's on the layer that you want. And so for this, it's kind of fun when you can put an image over it, right? It makes it a little more exciting, a little more interesting, and instead of just having designs, say, a little bit smaller and up higher so it doesn't match it at all. And I also want to make sure that I see a little bit of that bottom part of the E, because if I have it up a little bit more, it almost looks like an F. 
Now most people would probably know that it does say design, but just so there's, you know, no correlation or anything to just having an F instead of an E, you want to make sure that you can see it. Although I don't necessarily believe you need to go to college for graphic design, I def like I did, and I'm very glad that I did. I got a lot out of it. However, I definitely think having a good mentor is something that would be very beneficial to you, especially if you've been in the industry, but there's just some things you haven't learned yet, right? You don't know what you don't know. If you guys are interested in something like that or know anybody that would be interested in like a mentorship program where I can help critique you guys and, you know, help build your portfolios, give you examples of good and bad design, kind of explain things to you and take you through like a mini crash course. Like I would love to do that for you guys. So spacing is really, really off in this and there are different ways you can, you know, fix spacing. Sometimes I just put a little uh, rectangle like this and I just kind of use that to see if the spacing is correct. And it's pretty darn good actually. Now there's like quite a few things that annoy me <laughs> about this. For example, that was a little bit too big. Make sure you give your words breathing space, right? It doesn't always have to go right to the edge of the artboard. Make him a little bit bigger. And with this typeface, I don't mind it. I think it's pretty cool. But at the same time, I think the kerning or the space in between each letter is like off by quite a bit. <laughs> it really annoys me. But just for the sake of what we're doing today, I wanted to show you guys that. So this is pretty cool. We're going to export it and export it as a JPEG, use artboards. And you want to do this because as you can see, the astronaut is sticking out a little bit beyond the artboard. You just want to make sure that that's clipped. Then RGB, uh, just throw the quality all the way up and save it. And that's about it. I hope you guys liked this little video and tutorial slash just kind of talking about different design topics and if there's anything else that you guys want to chat about or other things that you'd like to know about design, just let me know in the comments below. This is how it ended up at the end and this is probably what I'll be posting at some point. So thanks for watching everyone.